In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a cartoon just like this one on your phone 100% for free. And yes, in case you're wondering, I animated this intro only using my phone, the free animation app Flip a Clip, and my finger. The example I will be showing you how to animate in this video is a simple animation of my character waving and saying hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Feel free to follow along step by step to create your own version of this animation. And now, into the tutorial. The first step to creating an animation on your phone is installing the free animation app Flip a Clip. You can get Flip a Clip by going to the App Store, searching Flip a Clip, and installing it. After installing Flip a Clip, it's time to create your first animation project. Open up the Flip a Clip app and make sure to watch the official Flip a Clip tutorial to get an idea of what the tools are. Now let's create our first animation. Select the red plus button to create a project. Before you can start working on your animation, you must customize your project settings. Give your project a name and choose a background. You can choose a pre-made background, a solid color background, or a background from your device or camera. You can also pick the canvas size. If you're making an animation for YouTube, I would recommend you use YouTube 720 pixels. And finally, you can choose your frames per second. I would recommend you use 12 frames per second because it's enough to create smooth animations without having to draw too many frames. Once you're satisfied with your settings, click Create Project to start working on your animation. Now that you can actually start working on your animation, I'm switching from screen recording to filming my phone, so you can see how I use my fingers to draw on the phone and animate. Before we can animate anything, we're going to need some audio to animate to. To access Flippa Clip's audio features, select the music icon in the bottom left corner and press the red plus button to add audio. If you're planning on recording audio like me, then select the mic icon and now you can record audio. So for the animation example I'm doing today, I'm going to animate my character waving and saying hi there. So I'm going to go ahead and record myself saying hi there. Hi there. Let's play it back to hear how it sounds. Hi there. Once you're satisfied with the recording, then press the check mark and drag the clip to a track. If you want to trim off the silent part right here, then select the clip and drag the ends to the point where you want to cut it off. Then drag the clip back to the beginning. Once you're satisfied with the audio, click the down arrow to return back to your canvas. Now we can actually begin to animate, starting with sketching out the keyframes or main poses in the animation. Quick tip, if it's helpful for you, you can sketch out the keyframes on paper before sketching them in flip a clip. I'm animating my character waving, so here are the three keyframes in the animation. Now let's begin sketching the keyframes in flip a clip. First, press the layers icon in the bottom right corner to see the different layers, and name this layer sketch because it's the sketch layer. Then, click this pen icon, click it again, and down here are the brushes that you can use to draw. Since we're sketching, I'm going to choose the pencil. Now let's start to sketch our character in the first pose. The first pose is basically just a simple standing pose which looks like this. To begin drawing your character, select the ruler icon up here, and then click the circle. This circle will be the base for the head, because the head is very circular. Drag the circle to where you want the head to be, and trace it like this. Let's work on the head a bit more. Draw the chin, the ear, and I draw these facial proportion lines to map out where the features of the face will be along with what direction the head is facing towards. Now let's draw the neck, the body, and the arms. Now we have a very basic sketch of our character, but this isn't the finished sketch. This sketch simply maps out the proportions in pose. Now I'm going to lower the opacity of the sketch and add on details to make the finished detailed sketch. To lower the opacity of the sketch, Go to your tools and select the eraser. Then set the opacity of the eraser to about 80% and then erase the whole drawing, leaving a light version of the sketch. Now let's go back in with the pencil tool to add details. So here is the finished detailed sketch of the first keyframe of the animation. Now it's time to draw the next keyframe. So I'm going to scrub through the audio and listen to figure out where I want the next keyframe to be. And I've decided to draw the next keyframe on frame 3, which is near the end of the high part in the audio. The second keyframe is basically the same pose as the first keyframe, except my character has lifted her right hand up to get ready to wave. Since this pose is so similar to the first pose, we can actually copy the first keyframe into frame 3 and then just add a few tweaks to it. To do that, go to your first keyframe and select this copy button right up here. Then go to the frame where your second keyframe is, 
which for me is frame 3, and click the paste button right here. Now let's make some tweaks. I'm going to erase this general area where the right arm is, and then add in a new arm. And this is what it looks like. For the third keyframe, we're going to follow the same process. Scrub through the audio, and listen to it to figure out where the third keyframe should go. And I've decided to place the third keyframe on frame 6, near the end of the there part in the audio. The third keyframe is the end of the wave, where my character's hand is in the waving position, and she's also smiling and tilting her head to her right. So we're going to copy the second pose into frame 6, and then add the changes. Erase the general right arm area, and draw the arm in the waving position. Grab the lasso tool, and select around the head. Then use the top circle here to turn the head in this direction. And finally, for the smile, I'm going to have the character's eyes crinkled up like this, in a smile, which looks like this. And here are what the three keyframes look like. Keyframe 1, keyframe 2, and keyframe 3. The next step in making an animation on your phone is sketching the in-betweens. In-betweens are essentially the transition frames between the keyframes that help make your animation look more smooth and lifelike. So let's begin sketching the in-betweens for our Hi There animation. The first in-between is on frame 2, between the first keyframe and the second keyframe. The first keyframe is this standing pose, and the second keyframe is the same pose, but with the right arm up in preparation for the wave. So since the only thing that changes is the arm, we can copy the first frame into the second frame, then erase the arm and draw the arm that would be halfway between the first and second keyframe, which looks like this. And as you can see, when I scrub through the animation, it looks like the arm is moving. Now I'm going to use a little trick to make this animation look even smoother. We're going to add a slow out in the transition. Basically that means the arm will slow down as it reaches the second keyframe, easing into that position. To animate this effect, I'm going to copy the second keyframe into the frame after the second keyframe, which for me is frame 4. And then I'm going to select this arm and drag it ever so slightly in the direction it's moving, which is up, so that it doesn't stop abruptly at the second keyframe, but rather slows down and eases into that position. And when I scrub through the audio, it looks like the arm is slowing down as it reaches the second position, giving it a smooth look. For the transition between the second and third keyframe, we can follow a similar process. The in-between for this transition is on frame 5 and it's transitioning from the hand being up here in preparation for the wave to the hand in the wave position along with the head turned this way and the eyes crinkled. So for the in-between, the hand will be in the middle of the wave, the head will only be slightly turned, and the eyes will only be slightly crinkled. So copy frame 4 into frame 5 and make the changes. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, I drew the hand really stretched out here to give it a smear effect, showing that it's moving really fast. Now I'm going to show you one last effect. Since the hand is waving so fast, it will actually go past the waving position in something called overshot. It will go a little too far and then bounce back slightly to the position it was aiming for. In this case, frame 6 is where it overshot, and then in frame 7 is where it will bounce back slightly. So copy frame 6 into frame 7, and then turn the arm slightly back in the opposite direction, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to the last frame. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat this drawing for a few frames at the end of the animation, just so that there's a little bit of a pause at the end. So click on the frame here, then click the copy button, then click the paste button with the right arrow, which looks like a clipboard here. And I'm going to do that until frame 10. So now let's play back the entire animation to see how it looks. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Now it's time to clean up the animation by drawing the line art for the animation. To do this, we're going to need a new layer. So go to the layers icon down here and add a new layer by pressing the plus. We're going to call this layer line art and color because we're also going to color the animation on the same layer, but that's a later step. So once you have created a new layer, switch from the pencil brush to the pen so that you can line your animation. Making the line art for the animation is pretty simple. You just trace the sketch and try to make it as clean as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and line the first frame. And this is what it looks like. By the way, you may have noticed I didn't draw the mouth. This is because I will actually draw the mouths on a separate layer when I do the lip syncing, which is a later step. Now you can line the rest of the frames. Okay, so now that you've finished lining all the frames, we no longer need the sketch. So go to the layers and press the 100% on the sketch layer, and this will basically hide the sketch layer. So now let's play the animation with the line art to see how it looks. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there.
On to step 7 of making an animation on your phone, which is coloring your animation. To color your animation, click the paint bucket tool right here, click it again, and then click this colored square to choose a color. Since I'm coloring in my character, I'm going to create a new palette for my character. So to do that, click this button right here. So now let's start picking some colors. First, I'm going to choose a skin color. Then press the plus button to add it to the palette. Let's choose a hair color and the color of my hoodie. And since the background is already white, I don't have to color the eyes in. Now that we've finished picking our colors, let's start to color our animation in. I'm going to select the skin color, return to the canvas, and then color in all areas of the skin. Now go back to your palette by clicking on the colored square, select the hair color, return to your canvas, and then color in all areas of the hair. And I'm going to do the same thing for the hoodie. So I have finished coloring in the first frame, and I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and color in all the other frames. Okay, so I've finished coloring in all the frames, so now let's play the animation again to see how it looks with color. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Now that we've finished coloring the animation, there's only one thing left to add to it. Lip sync. To add lip sync to your animation, you're going to need a new layer. So make a new layer, and we're going to call this one Mouth. Now to lip sync, basically what you have to do is scrub through the audio and then listen to the sound that the audio makes, and then draw the corresponding mouth. So on the first frame here, there's no sound, so I'm going to draw a simple closed mouth. In the second frame, I hear the huh sound in high, which corresponds to a slightly open mouth which looks like this. By the way, I'm going to color these mouths as I go. So I would recommend you make another color palette for the mouths with a teeth and tongue color. In frame 3, I can hear the I sound in high, which corresponds to a wide open mouth, which looks like this. On frame 4, I can hear the th sound in there, which corresponds to this tongue through teeth mouth. And on frame 5, I can hear the air sound in there which is another wide open mouth. Since it's the same position as the eye in high, you can actually copy the mouth from the eye part to frame 5. So go to the frame with the eye part, click the copy button, go back to frame 5, and click the paste button. As you can see, it overlaps the finger a little bit, so I'm just going to erase that part. On frame 6, I can hear the er sound in there, which is this small O-shaped mouth. I can still kind of hear the er sound on frame 7, so I'm going to copy the mouth from frame 6 into frame 7. And then on frames 8 through 11, there is no sound, so I can switch back to the closed mouth from the first frame. And this is what the animation looks like with lip sync. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. So now that we're finished with the animation, it's time to export your animation and share it. To do that, click the three dots icon here, and then select Make Movie. So to export this, you can go ahead and click Make Movie. And now you can click Share to share your animation. And you can share it to YouTube, among other places. So here is what the finished animation looks like. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. So yeah, that was the tutorial. And I hope it was helpful in teaching you how to make a cartoon animation for free if all you have is a smartphone and your finger. If it was, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions about animation or clip a clip, feel free to comment them down below. I will try to answer all of the comments. And if you decide to follow along with this tutorial, please feel free to share your finished animation to YouTube and link it to me via Instagram DMs or Discord. I have the link to my Instagram and Discord server in the description. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and found it helpful, and thanks for watching. Bye!